What's up, my fellow Fixit Engineers? Welcome back to your designated planet and another episode of How to Satisfactory. In the last few episodes, we have been slowly making progress towards getting our computer manufacturing up and going. And in today's episode, all of that work is finally going to pay off as we get these bad boys right here up and running and producing about six computers per minute. Which, to be fair, doesn't sound like a lot, but starting out, that's not too shabby. So here's what's on the agenda for today. First up, we are going to set all of this up right here so we get the plastic and the rubber coming from our transportation over there up and going into the factory here. Next up, we need to get the quick wire from all the way down there in our new quick wire area we built a while back ago all the way up through here and into the manufacturing process. We then have to run all the belts and conveyor lifts down here for our logistics floors. And last but not least, before we get all of these machines turned on, we need to make sure that we are producing both enough electricity and enough plastic and rubber to make sure all of these are running efficiently. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with construction. All right, let's go ahead and get started on today's construction. So the first thing we're going to do is make a path that leads from our trucking station down here or up here on the high walk or the sidewall, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to put a pathway that goes from here up to there. So what we'll do is we'll locate the center going up to the middle of the walkway up there and I will copy that foundation right there, put it right here in front of this foundation, like so. I will then take a four meter ramp and I will run it up twice, so there. On the top of the two four meter ramps I just placed, I'm going to put one there in the middle and then one on each side, like so. And then we're gonna go up each side with four meter ramps. So I'm gonna put two up here, like that, and then two over here, like that. Now you may also have these two foundations kind of sticking out right here. We don't need those. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. I will, however, put two in the middle down here from that foundation, so like that. And now we have walkways going down and this way into the middle right there. Now right here in between the two ramps where we just placed those foundations, we're gonna to come to the edge right here. I'm gonna put four floor hose running across through here. So we're gonna start on the edge. So one right here and then we'll put three more next to it. So we should have them all set up just like that. We'll then go ahead and put some conveyor lifts on top of that. And we're gonna make sure those are outputs because we're gonna be running the materials coming up underneath of here and in this way. So we'll do it like that. There we go, got our fourth one on there. And that's all we need to do right here at the moment. Coming down here to where the concrete is and our truck stations are, we're going to go ahead and take this foundation right here, this four meter concrete foundation. I'm just going to run that all the way across over there and we're going to finish that off and then this one right here in the middle i'm going to go ahead and take that out right there so most likely you have a line of iron ore going down through here what i'm going to do is i'm going to take two floor hose and i'm going to put them on the other side honestly this could be either way right here but i'm going to put them right here on this side and i want to put them in the middle so if that is going to be where the one is then i want to bring that over about two so one there one there and if I place another one right there, you can kind of see that that is even. So those are directly in the middle. Let's go ahead and put our conveyor lifts on top of those as well. And we'll put them in the bottom down here too, connecting into that. That way we're going to have the input coming down this way into these coming up. And then we're going to run these all the way up until we get to the top up there. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and take some foundations. We'll run this underneath of this about two. Yeah, probably about two like that. We'll then take the four meter ramps and we'll put those up like that until we get to the top of there. Now let's go ahead and put our conveyor lifts coming down. So we'll put them on all four of those. Get the two in the middle like that and a foundation underneath of those. We'll then come down here to the bottom. We'll take conveyor belts, run it from our two conveyor lifts right here coming out to about the either right before the edge or right at the edge. This depends on however you want to do it. Either way is going to work. So I'm going to run mine to right there and then run it up the hill. I'll run that conveyor belt all the way up here to the top. Make sure everything is lined up, place that down, and then put this conveyor belt straight into the middle of our conveyor list right there. So right there, going to do the same thing with the other one. So we'll bring it to right there, run it to the top and into our other middle conveyor lift right there. Now you might have some of these ugly, disgusting trees down here in your way. We'll go ahead and take care of those. All right, next up, we're gonna need some iron ore sent up to our factory to turn into screws. What we will do is we'll connect a splitter right here to this line and then run it the same way we have our plastic and rubber. It's gonna go up there. 
what I'll do here is I'll take a splitter and put it right next to our line or like that and then that's gonna help me to line this up just a little better here there we go then I can connect it straight to that line without any interruption to the flow and then I can run my conveyor belt out from there up the ramp and then connect to the conveyor lift now for the moment we're not actually going to be using this fourth line right here um, I haven't decided what I'm going to use that for just yet I may go ahead and just bring all of this ore down here run it up and then in that way so everything's coming up in between the two buildings we may use it for copper I I have no idea just yet I'm still kind of figuring that out but just so you know it is here when we do need it everything is ran for it and then we can just connect things up to it later so currently we have a little bit of a mess over here where our storage containers of plastic and rubber are I don't want to just remove all of these though and get rid of everything we have stored up because we're not making enough plastic just yet and I want to be able to keep a bit on backup just in case we are going to need it, which I'm pretty sure we're going to. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of everything that hooks up into our storage containers right here. The conveyor lifts, the splitters and mergers, any belts. After that's done, we're going to grab a one meter foundation. We're going to push this up just a little bit to match it to the bottom of our wall right there. And something like that. And then let me sure zoom on. And we're going to build a new platform that runs all the way down through here. You can see here I've made this platform about as long until we get back to where the rocks kind of begin right there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is let's go ahead and bring up a ramp. And you can see here that this is a 4 meter ramp, but I want a 2 meter. And I want it to be in concrete. So here's a little trick that I haven't showed anybody yet in the series. And I really don't even use this a whole lot myself because I keep forgetting that it is this. Once you have your piece right here, like this 4 meter ramp, right? If I hold down E, I can get all of these other pieces right here. This is our building menu right here. So I want a 2 meter, actually no, let's go with a 1 meter, a 1 meter foundation like that. Now while this is up, if you look on the right hand side of the screen, right in the middle, you'll see something that says next material, right mouse button. So I want this to be concrete. So if I hit my right mouse button, I just change that into concrete like that how awesome is that so I'm gonna come down here to where the rocks begin and our concrete ends I'm going to place a one meter ramp right there and then I'm just going to push this back like so and then I'll go ahead and continue my foundations back here alright so now we have a nice new platform here that we can work with with the back of it being just a little further up alright so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna grab one of these storage containers I'm gonna hit E to make it into the small storage container we're gonna come up here and I'm going to place one down somewhere on this platform. Your placement here isn't a huge deal because these are only going to be temporary. And, you know, we'll get rid of these later once they're out. But I want to move all of our material from those back to here. So I'm going to place our first one, like I say, right here. I'm going to change it around so the output is facing us like that. I'm going to put another one next to it. I'm then going to leave a space in between them and we'll do that again another one and another one right next to that now the reason I switched off to these small storage containers is so I could do this what I want to do is put another one on top of it and we'll turn it around so that the input is coming into that so we have the input on the top the output on the bottom like that like that like that and like that then we'll come back here to the back of this we'll connect these up using conveyor lifts like so all right and with that done what we have now is two storage containers it'll come into the top one and then transfer down into the bottom one until the bottom one is full and then fill up the top one but we can have our inputs and outputs on separate sides this is a trick that i use quite a bit in a lot of my builds now we just need to get all of the material from these storage containers right here into this one. And again, like I said, this is only going to be temporary because we're just moving all this stuff around. All right, so our truck stop right there brings in the plastic, which means we want our plastic to be on the left-hand side. So it's going to go into those containers. Our rubber is going to be in these right here since that's the truck stop for that. I want to kind of keep these about the same direction. So I'll come down here on these. We will then throw a conveyor lift on this one this one and the other two and then I'm going to connect those right there up with these and we're going to transfer all the rubber out of these guys right here into these boxes right here I'm going to do the same thing with the plastic now so I will then just basically just put some conveyor belts over here they don't have to look great to work all right here we go now a it's a little bit of a spaghetti mess but again 
perfectly fine. Once those two are empty right there, we're going to delete all of this. As our plastic and rubber is moving into our new storage containers, it gives us a little bit of time to go take care of something else. So let's head up to the main factory. Here at the very end of the main factory, where all our material comes in and goes out to our manufacturing plants up there, what we want to do is we want to change this up a little bit. This is probably going to put a hamper on our production for a little bit, but it does need to be done. So the first thing we'll do is get rid of our three conveyor lifts right here and the belts going into them. I guess I should also say we're going to get rid of the belts going out of them as well. Instead of three lines running up the middle now, what we want is we want four lines because we need to bring the quick wire up through here on this side as well as keep the three that we originally had. So we'll take our first conveyor lift, we'll put it right here on the edge facing that way towards the wall like that. Uh, you can hit H and nudge it into place if you need to. And then we're going to have that as an input because we're going to bring the quick wire in up here and then have it go up and then down to our manufacturing. So right that way. Come over here to the other side. We're going to bring their coal in up here. So we'll take that, run that that way. We'll go ahead and connect our coal in right there. I'll place one right next to the coal with it going up and out that way. Like so. We can connect this line right here back up into that like that. And then we'll put in our last one right here in the middle, but we want to reverse the directions on that one because that's going to be an output. So like that. I will then bring my output conveyor belt out just by one like that. We'll do the same thing here and then we'll connect those into each other like that. Now all we have to do is run a quick wire line that's going to come from our new quick wire manufacturing down there all the way up to here. All right, getting our quick wire in here is going to be a little bit of a challenge and a little bit of more of advanced setting up, but it's nothing that I don't think you guys can handle, and I'm going to try my best to explain it as easily as I can. However, we are going to be working in some pretty cramped places, and I might not have the best visibility to show things. So what we're going to go for right here coming into this conveyor lift right here is the same thing that I have our co over here doing. So if we come over here. You can see I have it kind of come up just a little off the edge right there. And that's what we want to do over there. So let's head over there. And we're going to take a floor hole. And we're going to place it just next to this one right here. Let's take a conveyor lift, place it on top of that. And then we can run our belts so that it's coming over this way. We'll put that right on the line right there. And then we'll turn it this way. And we'll go up to where that is, back to and turn into the conveyor lift. All right, so that's our conveyor lift. And then we have our belt going into it. So what we're gonna do next is let's drop down here. Now, I've put walls up right here covering our foundation pieces that are behind there, as you can see. So I'm just gonna delete that foundation piece. Actually, I'm not even sure why that piece is even there. I'll take out this wall right here, take out that foundation piece and this foundation piece. All right, once we have all these foundations removed, we're going to come in here. There's one more foundation down here we're going to take out. So let's go ahead and get rid of that one. That's going to reveal another foundation down there, which we will then put a floor hole down there right there. And then we'll connect our conveyor lift down to that hole down here. So let's jump down here to there. We can then drop down here. And from here, we'll remove this wall right here. And then go ahead and put a foundation right there there grab a conveyor lift put it on the bottom of that hole and turn it so it's facing the way i'm doing it here so just like that there we go and then we can take our conveyor belt run it one out and then turn it so it's going down that way like so now we'll come over here into this section which i've never done anything with yet and i'm not sure what we're going to do just yet but we're going to take out these two corner walls right here that one and that one and then we're going to build foundations up right here. So like that. Once you have your foundations in place right there, we're going to come over here. Let's remove this floor piece where the stairs come up right here. Or ramp, I should say. And if you don't already have a foundation right there, go ahead and place one. And we want to probably put another one right there in front of that. Like so. Delete this wall. And let's go ahead and delete this foundation right here. Then we'll put a floor hole anywhere you want here. It could be in the middle, could be on the edge, wherever you want to place it right there. And we're going to bring a conveyor lift down. Make sure we reverse that so that it is outputting because we're having a quick wire come this way. Bring it down to the floor. 
Then we're going to take our conveyor belt that you can see right there. We're going to run that down and into this. So let's start that. I'll bring it down to uh, right about the middle right there. And then back to. We'll turn that till we come to right about there. Back to and into that. All right. Now we've got that fixed. You can go ahead and put your foundation back in there and our floor piece right there. We'll hop up on top of this one where we have the conveyor hole right here. Put another conveyor lift like that. And then we're going to head over to the quick wire manufacturing. We'll go ahead and build our foundations out to the corner here. And then again, we're going to stack those up right there. We can get rid of these tilted walls there. And looks like I already have that one out. We'll place one more right there. Let's take out these two corner walls right there, and then we're going to build up some walls down through here. So there, there, we're going to leave the middle here and here. Then we'll bring a conveyor belt from the merger right there where our quick wire merges in, and we're going to bring it right to the edge right there. Now let's go ahead and get some one meter foundations. We're going to put it from the four meter foundation we have right here. We're going to make a roof over top of all of that wall right there, like so. We're going to come down here to the middle. And let's put in a floor hole here. Yeah, that looks right. So we want it just one space away. So see the grates right there, right in the middle, right there. We're gonna drop down here. We are then going to put a conveyor lift coming down. Make sure you reverse it so it's input. Connect our conveyor belt into that. There we go. Conveyor lift on top, going that direction. Now the only thing left to do in this section is we have to connect the conveyor belt from this lift to that lift. So I'll bring our first one down as far as I can go here. Now this belt run right here is just a little too long, so we're not going to be able to do that. But there is a trick we can do. We're going to take a foundation, put it somewhere right in the middle here on top of those, and then run it over, over top of that. And then we can connect our belt right there, get it down here, kind of make sure it's straight, bring it as far down as we can, use the hanging connectors on the bottom of that, and then connect those right up, after which we no longer need those foundations, so we can delete those. And the ceiling mount there is too. And now you can see we have our quick wire flowing down through there. I'll put another four meter foundation on top of this one just to hide all the mess we have right there in the corners. We'll come down here to the other wind. We'll do the same thing right there on top of that. Looking at our support walls, that looks fine. Let's go ahead and place the wall back in there. Now we're right back up here where we started and you can see the quick wires coming in and going into our conveyor lift right there. Now we have to rerun belts from our conveyor lifts here all the way up the line to our manufacturing plants. So let's go ahead and clear all this out so we can work. Now here where our conveyor belts are coming around and turning to go down that way, we're just gonna place these one over to the right here. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place conveyor poles down so there right next to that one there and there connect my belts back up down here there we go that's much better we're going to leave this one free right now for the moment and then just connect our belts from our conveyor lifts up this way now you should have four belts running down the middle instead of three one carrying our coal up this way one carrying extra parts up this way one carrying the parts back down towards the main factory and storage and then we have the new line we're carrying the quick wire up this way all right, next up, let's get our material into our machine so we can get the production going. All right, so the first thing we'll work on is the quick wire. We're going to bring that right up to here and then right up the middle of this, we're gonna send it because I know that almost every machine above us right here is going to be needing that quick wire. First of all, we got these machines here making circuit boards. And then on the other side over here, we're making cables out of the quick wire. So that's also going to need that. So with our first assembler on the left hand side here making the circuit boards, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the second floor hole on this side. I'm going to grab a splitter and I'm going to put that right in front of each of those with the input coming down that way. And that should line up right there. And then if I take and put a conveyor lift down, that should connect straight into that splitter and the other side as well. Coming down here to the next two floor holes, we'll do the same thing. So again, another splitter right in front of the second floor hose. So again, we'll change it that way, get that lined up perfectly. And then I'll bring that conveyor lift down like that. I'll go ahead and connect those two up. We'll come all the way down here to the very end to our last two machines, and we're gonna do the same thing. I'll grab a splitter. We'll put it in front of the second floor hose right there. So there. Bring this back we'll put it in front of these two as well make sure that's lined up 
and then connect our lifts up. I'll connect these two together. Now for all of these machines here in the middle on the, so now for everything left in the middle here on the right hand side where I'm facing right now with our truck stop over there, we have all these other assemblers over here that are going to be needing that quick wire. But we don't have anything left on the left hand side over here that does. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and come all the way down here. I'm going to take the splitter and put it in front of the second floor hole for each one of the assemblers above it. So there should be six more of those left to place down the middle. And then we'll hook those up with our conveyor lifts. The last thing left to do is to connect all of our splitters up to each other using conveyor belts. The last thing left to do is to hook all of our splitters up together here using conveyor belts down through here. I am however right now at the moment going to hold off before I hook up the quick wire line right through here to all the rest of the splitters. Now all of these machines making our circuit boards still need plastic so we're going to hook that up next. So I'm going to drop down here. I'm going to then take and put a conveyor lift here on our first floor hole right here like so. We'll grab a splitter. We'll put it right there right in front of that conveyor lift going up and I want to make sure that the input is facing us like so. I'll put a floor hole right in front of that splitter like that. Then we'll hook a conveyor lift from the floor hole to the splitter. That establishes a baseline right there so we know where all of our splitters are going to be. So I'll go ahead and take that and we'll run that all the way down through here in front of each of the other floor holes on this side. I find it best to start on the very far end and then move backwards as I place them down. Then I can just kind of move back through here like so, and it just makes it easier to me. Attach our conveyor lifts to these splitters, and then connect up all the conveyor belts to each splitter. Alright, so that takes care of all the material needed to make our circuit boards, but we need to think about the other side here, which is going to need rubber in order to make the cables. So, we're going to drop back down here again. We're going to do very much a similar thing we did on this side. And we're going to take a conveyor mark 3. We're going to change that to that direction, like so. We're going to grab a splitter, if I can get a hold of it there. All right, put that in there. So I'm going to put it again right in front of that, like so. And once again, we'll put a floor hole right in front of it. Conveyor belt on top, bringing it in. And there we go. Now I need to send that rubber up to all the other machines. So we have four total that I need to worry about. It's going to be this one right here. So again, I will grab that splitter. I'll bring it down here, make sure it's turned the right way, put it right in front of where I need it to go, right there. Come all the way down here to the other side, and we've got the two down here we need to connect it to. So once again, we'll line that up there, and to our other one right there. Connect our conveyor lifts to those. All right, that's the last of the conveyor lifts connected to those splitters, and then we'll run our belts along down through here. And we'll take that one, and this is going to be a much longer run for these, but we'll run it all the way down through here. Connect up to this splitter all the way down here, and that one to that one. Alright, so that's going to take care of the material we need to make our cables, but next we need to make the screws and get iron ingots to go. So we have the iron ore, it's going to be coming up from the floor below into the smelters in order to make our iron ingots. So let's drop down here below these guys and what we'll do is place a splitter in front of each one of the holes here for our smelters above us. So I'll place one there, there, and on the last one here. Then connect up our lifts there, there, and there. And then we'll connect the three splitters up using conveyor belts here. Then we'll come back down here to the front of the factory where you come in at and where our rubber and plastic is coming in at. We're going to take a floor hole. We're going to put it right in front of this one over here for where our rubber comes up at, right there. I'll put a conveyor lift on top of that and we'll turn it this way. We'll connect a conveyor belt from the splitter down there all the way down as far as I can get it, which looks to be right about there. And then if I'm not mistaken, I think we should be able to just connect from the conveyor lift right here straight onto that. And there we go. So our iron ore is going to come up right there. So now, let's go ahead and drop down here to where all of our materials coming into the factory at, right here. And what I want to do is put another logistics layer down here. Just a small one though, we don't need anything too big. Now we have a little bit of floor to work with down here. Let's take a conveyor lift, pop it onto the bottom here, facing that way. We'll put this one that way, and again facing inwards. And this last one right here in front of that one, we're going to have that facing just like that. So it's going to be facing this way. So, 
Then I'm going to take conveyor belts. We're going to run these all the way down to here. I'm going to turn them so that they're getting ready to go in from, or I guess out from our conveyor lifts right there. So there. I'll get the next one. We'll bring it, attach it to that conveyor lift right there. Bring it down. And again, I'll turn that like so. And our last one for the plastic, we'll do the same thing. Connect it to that conveyor lift, bring it down. It's going to be connecting into that, so I want to make sure that it's good and straight. We'll turn that and move it over to right about there. Then let's go ahead and connect these up to our conveyor lifts here. There and there. You can already see the ore is flowing in and going up. So now let's hop back up in here. Make sure that's going where I need it to. Yep. All right. At this point, we can go ahead and hook up our quick wire right here. So I'm going to bring that to there. And then I'll bring that here. And we'll turn it like that. And then connect it together. All right. So there goes our quick wire down the line. Now we need to take care of the output of the circuit boards. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put conveyor lifts on the bottom of each one of these holes down the left-hand side of our logistics floor down through here. Once you have all the lifts on the bottom of the floor holes down here, we're then going to take a merger. So I'll grab a splitter, hit E twice, change that into a merger. I'm going to put these right in front of each of the conveyor lifts with the output of these facing down this way. So right there in front of that, and I'll place that down. And this way I can work backwards starting from this end like that. Once you place your last merger, the next thing to do is connect in belts. So we want to make sure we have a belt coming from the output of this conveyor lift going into this merger right here. So there to there. And then we'll do the next one and connect those two together. So pretty much what we're doing is we're having all of the materials, the uh, circuit boards basically, coming down, going into a merger, and then running up towards this line towards the beginning of our factory up there. All right, now that that side is all finished, we need to get that material, the circuit boards, up because the circuit boards are going up for the manufacturers on the top floor in order to make our computers. So what we're gonna do is I'll come up here. Let me take and put this floor back right here. I'm going to take and right here where you come into the factory right here. So the middle, right? Turn to the left. And then I'm going to put a floor hole in the middle between these two foundations here. And I'm gonna place another one over here on this side like that. I'll put another one in the top right above that. So right there and the other side too. Now we're going to put a conveyor lift from that floor hole to this floor hole. And I'm going to have it change kind of this way and down. And I want to make sure it's reversed because this is going to be going up. So it should come down or up, I should say, into that. And then the other side is going to be the opposite. So everything's going to be coming down this side. So I'll change that again to reverse. There we go. Now I can remove my floor piece right here so we can drop back down in here again. I will then take and put a conveyor lift on the bottom of that. I'm then going to place a merger right in front of that conveyor lift right there. So something about like that. Make sure our input is going towards it. That looks right. See if that connects into each other. It does. Perfect. And then I'm going to turn a line that goes from this splitter or merger here. Right. We're going to turn that and have that go into this one like that and then straight into that we're going to take one more merger and face it towards this one right here and we're going to put it right in front of this guy right here so uh perfect right there i'll connect that to that and then that to that so now what we have is the circuit boards are going to be made they're going to come up through here they're going to turn they're going to come into this merger and go up Right here, we have plastic being split right here. Coming up, goes into this, runs down that line to our machines, but it's split right here, so some of the plastic is going to go this way, go up, because our computer manufacturers on the top are also going to need plastic. So we're sending the plastic and the circuit boards up so far. We still need to send two more things up to the manufacturers. One is going to be the screws, which we'll get to shortly. The other one is going to be the cables we're making on the other side. So let's head over to the other side over here where our cables are coming down at. All right, so we've got these four floor holes right here coming down from the assemblers above us that are making our cables. So we're going to, again, we're going to take conveyor lists, put them on the bottom of each of these. 
We'll take care of these two first. I'm going to put mergers in front of those. So mergers, there we go. Running down that way towards the end of the factory down there. So I will just put that like right there is fine. Put another one in front of that one like that. Connect these guys up with conveyor belts and then connect these two mergers together like that. So cables come down from these two machines into the mergers, merge and then running down this way. Let's come all the way down here to the other one. We're going to do the same thing. So conveyor lift, conveyor lift, merger, and another one right there in front of that. Connect all these guys up, these two together. Now we just need to get a conveyor belt from that side down to this side. So again, we'll run it from all the way down there. You can only go so far with it. So I'll put it to right about there, make sure it's straight and then connect from there into the other one. There we go. Now I'm just going to take a line from this last merger here. I'm going to run it down to here and I'll turn it this way towards us. Make sure that's correct. Uh, that's perfect right there. Run it down this way and I can see my merger down there on the very end and I want to run it all the way up through that. So it looks like it is in the middle. So I will turn that that way. Make sure that is straight right there. Perfect. And then we're going to run this one all the way up to that last merger up there. Connecting it in right here. So now, this one merger is both bringing in the plastic and the cables we're making. And then merging into that one, which is going to merge the plastic and cables in with the circuit boards we're making. And send them all up on one single line. Now we have one more hookup on this floor. And that's the output. So everything coming from the rest of the stuff, the extra stuff and our computers and everything are going to be coming down and we want them to run along this line so that we can hook them up and get everything with this line here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this out right here real quick and we're going to put a merger in right here. That looks good right there. We'll connect that merger in with this line we already have there now. We'll fix this line right here. I can do away with that conveyor pole. And then we'll run that from here into that. We'll put a conveyor lift coming down out of that hole right there. And then run a belt from there into that. So now the manufacturer on this side with all the uh, extra product and the actual steel frames we're making here. We'll now connect up with this side and send everything down that line right there to our main factory. I believe that takes care of everything on the bottom logistics floor. So we can now floor that back up and be done with that. Now we need to go up to the logistics floor underneath of the actual manufacturers next. So from the top floor, what we'll do is we'll take out one piece of the foundation so we can get down to the logistics floor underneath of us here. And then you can see here we have all of these different floor holes here that are going up to all three of our manufacturers. Now in order to make computers, you need three components. You're going to need plastic, circuit boards, cables and screws three of those components we have coming up right here that is going to be coming up all on one single line so what we'll do is we'll take it and we'll run it down through here and connect it up right here via conveyor lifts and we'll take all the components we need using the smart splitters the one component we can't do though is going to be screws because it takes about a hundred and some screws per manufacturer each minute so we're going to do those separately so what i'm going to do is we'll do those first right here. I'll take a conveyor lift. We'll attach it to the bottom of here. You can probably do any of these that you want. I'm going to do the last one right here. So right there. We're going to come down here to the next one. I'm going to put it right here. And normally I would say go ahead and put this one on the last one down there as well. But because of where the actual screws come up right here. Let's go ahead and do it here instead. So we'll take it right there. Now, we have screws coming up from the bottom floor. So if I take this out right here, I can show you. So right there. Now, these are the constructors down there. We have two of them making our screws. And as you see, it moves it down the line, and they come up right here. So we have these right here, and we have two on the other side down there to make enough screws to run everything if we divide it by three. But they're going to come up, and then they're going to be split right here. So what we want to do is in the middle... I'm going to put a splitter right here. Actually, a merger is what we want. So I'm going to grab a merger. Uh, there we go. One merger. I want to make sure that it is going into that like that. So I'll put it right on the line too. So right about there. 
You can always hit H to lock it into place so you can get a good look. Make sure it is connecting into everything right there. Uh, I'll move it back to the line right there. All right. Connect that up with a conveyor belt like so. And then I will take and put a splitter on this one here. So let's see. Make sure we get conveyor splitter. There we go. Uh, that looks good. Lock it in. Perfect. All right. Connect that with our conveyor belts. Connect that to our conveyor belt down here. And copy that one splitter. Bring it down here. And turn it the opposite way. So we'll have everything coming in from one side. All right, looks perfect right there. Once again, we'll connect this up. And we'll connect that to that one. Let's go ahead and put a conveyor lift on the floor hole right here. Bringing up our screws. So it would be like that. And then those will come around. And let's see. I will just turn that. That's perfect right there. Connect into that. Come back down here on the other end. I'll put that foundation back where we had it there. And then bring it up again like so. Conveyor belt to here. Turn. Make sure it's straight. That's perfect. And then we'll connect the splitter right here up to that belt. And voila. So once the screws are getting made, they're going to come up this side. They're going to come up the other side. They're going to get split into the first two manufacturers on each side what's left over will go on through and go to the middle and then that last manufacturer above us will take that so that will take care of all the screws that we're going to need for our manufacturer let's get the rest of the pieces up here so what i'm going to do is let's come down here to where our, the other pieces are coming up right there there we go and looks like it's going to come right down this line right down through here so i will take and put a smart splitter in front of each of the holes right here. So our first one's gonna be like right there. Let me just get that. Everything looks lined up right there with the floor hole, so that's perfect. We'll place the first one. We'll put the next one on front of the next floor hole right there. So lock it into place, make sure it's good. Good and lined up, fantastic. And our third one, right in front of that one, like so. And then we want to connect all three of these together. So I'll use conveyor belts from there to there and from there to there. We'll come over to the other side and we'll place in our conveyor list, which should match perfectly in with that. And we don't need to run conveyor belts there. Yep, that'll work. And our last conveyor lift going into that. And then we can set up the conveyor belt from the conveyor lift coming up to there. And at this point, it's only a matter of setting up each of our smart splitters for what they need to do. So our first one, we can do anything we want into that. So we know it's coming up. We want this one to be overflow. We want the left output to be none. And our right output will be one of three things. It's either going to be cables, circuit boards, or plastic. I'll do the plastic first. Then we'll come up here to the second one. Again, none to the left. The center will be overflow. And the right output will be one of the other two that we need. In this case, it will be cable. All right. Our last one, again, none. And then center output will be overflow. And then the right output will be the last one that we have left, which is going to be the circuit boards. And that sets up our three smart splitters. All we got to do at this point is do the exact same thing to the other two manufacturers down here. Once you have your conveyor lifts and smart splitters set up, the easy thing here is all we have to do is we can copy each one of these. So I can just come down here and hit control C to copy that one. Come up here and control V. And you can see it copied that. So now I don't have to set all of those. Come down here to the third manufacturer, do the same thing, hit control V, bam. All right. Copy the last one down there, paste it onto the last one here. And that's all of our smart splitters now set up. And the next thing to do is just to connect up conveyor belts from each set of splitters to the next set of splitters. Now our plastic, our cables, and our circuit boards will all come up this one line. The smart splitters will divide it into each of the manufacturers as they go through. And then anything remaining will go around and we'll send it back downstairs. Now, speaking of sending parts downward, we also have to take care of the output of our manufacturers that are making the computers right here. So like, for example, where are the computers gonna go? Well, we're going to do this. We're going to take and put a conveyor lift on the bottom of the last three floor holes we have here. That's the output of each of our three manufacturers. We can turn them inwards like that. I will then take and put a conveyor merger in front of each one of those lifts like that. 
and we're going to have it so that the output of these mergers are going down this way placing the last one right there which we can then connect up with belts so there we'll then connect each of the mergers together and get all of this hooked up now the computers we make will come down through the lift they will go into each of the mergers and merge onto a single line which are then going to bring them down this way we'll place one more lift right here on the end i'll go ahead and place that that way and then we'll go ahead and put a conveyor belt into that i'll go to say here and then we'll turn it and we want to make sure that we get it to where we need to here that's good i'll just turn that that way make sure that is yeah uh there that's straight and then connect that into that and that's going to send all of the computers that we make down the line and then down through here which will then go into a merger that we have set up that's going to merge with the extra stuff from the first manufacturing plant we made send it all the way down to our main factory for storage there's one more thing we need to take care of on our logistics floor here though if we don't take care of all the extra stuff that comes down through here so if we have any leftover plastic any leftover cables anything like that if we don't have a way to get that out of the conveyor belt system down through here it's going to get backed up and our manufacturers aren't going to be making our computers so we need to put one more belt coming off the end down here i'll have this go this way we'll turn it and i will just have it turn straight into there make sure that's straight perfect like that connect that into this last merger down here with the line where our computers are going down so not only will the computers be coming down through here on this line all the excess and overflow here will also be going down that line so now that's everything on this logistics floor is done we are now complete here our manufacturers are almost ready to turn on there is the matter of getting electricity to them but before I hook up the electricity and turn this process on and get this whole plant up and running, there's one more thing that we need to do down in our main factory. Now, if we were to turn on the manufacturer right now, we would probably start making computers. And then the computers would be coming all the way down through here, and then we'd go all the way down there, and then they would just end up into the sink. So that would be all we'd be doing with them because we don't have a storage container for computers yet. All right, so the biggest problem that we're going to run into right here is that we've already used all of our storage container space down here. So the only way we're going to be able to do this is if we add another two right here on this right hand side. You could add two more down on that side as well. Then that would give us four storage containers, but that side's going to be a little more difficult. So I would recommend just doing it this way. Now, since this video is already getting a little too long, we're just going to do this like quick and dirty right here. So first thing, we're going to place down two more storage containers right here. Using the new nudge ability is going to make this a whole lot easier to get it placed. Now that we've got our two storage containers here, we need to feed them from the bottom. So let's go down there. And in order to do that, we need to expand out this little section right here by one. So let's go ahead and place a couple of foundations down here and here. We'll get rid of the current conveyor lift coming up. We'll then copy a smart splitter and we'll move it about right there. So it lines up with the storage container openings off the top up there. Throw a conveyor lift on this side for it. Throw down a floor hole right there with another conveyor lift going into the smart splitter. We'll drop a level down, copy that conveyor lift to the bottom, move it down level with this conveyor belt coming into it right here. We'll then put a new conveyor belt going from the conveyor lift into this merger right here underneath of us, right there. And then now you can see our stuff is moving right back up there again now. Come back up here and we're going to set up our smart splitter once again. Now we can put the computers and the circuit boards going to the left and the right, whichever one you choose with overflow going up the middle. Now from the back of our storage containers, let's take out this ramp. We'll then throw down a conveyor lift going down to match that one there, like so. We also need a conveyor lift going down from the second storage container right there. So the way I'll do that is I'll just throw in a foundation here real quick. We will then grab that conveyor lift right there. I'll match it with these other ones going down the line, like so. Uh, that works, and then we can just drop down here and then just kind of level this up down here so that it works for us. I'm going to put mine, I could go it all the way down to the floor so it matches up, but it's in this rock right here, which I don't care for. I'm gonna place it just right underneath of this one conveyor lift right there. Then we can run our belt from that conveyor lift to this conveyor lift, and then from the splitter straight into this one right here. It kind of moves up a little bit, that's okay. Uh, this is all gonna be only temporary anyway. In a future episode, we are going to redo all of our storage containers completely. 
pop back up here to the top storage container. We can remove this foundation right here once again. We can then add a conveyor belt going from the storage container there over to this conveyor belt. And that's it. Last but not least, I added some signage to the front of our storage containers to match the rest of them here. One for computers, one for circuit boards, and that is our storage system now set up. And before I forget about it again, because I actually kind of already have, we have the plastic and rubber over here that we were moving into the extra storage bins we built up there. And looks like that is all done, so we can go ahead and remove all of these storage containers here now. And with those storage containers out of the way, we can go ahead and expand our platform we made out here just a little more closer to our miners here. There we go, that looks much cleaner over here and gives us a bit more room to work with. All right, now let's drop. Now a little cleanup duty before we start putting the plastic and rubber into the factory. Let's head to the first truck station here. And just as I thought, I do have rubber and plastic both in here. This plastic is left over from before. So let's go ahead and grab all of that, get rid of it, hit sort. And then we have all the rubber only in this truck station and then all the plastic only in that truck station. Let's then drop underneath of the floor, and what we'll do here is get rid of everything coming down and going that way. There we go. Now we have a clean slate. Let's go ahead and attach some conveyor lifts coming down there, and we're going to have it facing inwards towards each other. So there, like that, and then this one like that. There we go. And again, because we are running short on time and this video is already way too long, what we are going to do is just make this work real quick and just set it up to kind of a temporary status just to get everything flowing. So we will go ahead and put a merger on the end of each one of our conveyor lists coming down here. So one on that one there, and then we'll come over here to the other side, place another one on this one, connect our conveyor lists to the mergers. I'll then take a conveyor belt from each side and place it close to that. We're not going to connect it just yet. We don't want to start unloading everything into here because there's one more thing i got to do here in just a minute. Uh, let's see. That looks good, so I'll take that back for there. We'll turn that, and yeah, that looks good. Come over here to the other side. We'll get this one ready here. All right, that right there is good. Looks like I still have some plastic left on this line, so I'll just go ahead and get things to flow a little bit, pick a few up. That should take care of any excess that's still left in that line. Now let's come up here to our storage containers. And so all of these are rubber right here. We don't actually need the rubber. We're making plenty enough to run our factory with what's coming down and being transported. Plastic, on the other hand, we are going to need an excess of because we're not making enough of that. We will fix that in the next episode, as well as the rest of all of this area right here. But for now, again, just to make quick time and get this done and ready, and we're actually making some actual computers, let's go ahead and fix this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a merger in front of this one here. So there we go, merger, and we're going to have it so it's coming out like that. There we good. We'll connect this one right here into that merger right there we'll connect the container there into that merger like that we'll come down this way just a little bit doesn't really matter because this is going to be deleted later and we will place a conveyor hole right there conveyor lift on top of it making sure it is an input like that and then we'll run a belt from there into that put a conveyor belt on the bottom bringing that plastic down and then we're going to run a belt from this lift into that merger right there we'll just connect that in there we go now we have all the plastic coming from our containers above our excess plastic that we have left over from before we have it merged into the line where the trucks are bringing in the plastic and the only thing left to do is just a couple things we need to run these lines into that which is going to send these materials into the factory so we can start going uh, and then we got to run power to everything but before we do any of that there's one more little thing i need to do in order to make sure that this is working properly for the moment. We're going to come back up here to our computer manufacturing plant to the first floor. I'm going to go ahead and remove this foundation so we can work down here. Now what I want to do is I want to drop a splitter, a smart splitter actually, right on this line somewhere. So let's see, smart splitter right there. Doesn't matter where, just as long as you can put a floor hole in front of it, that's all that matters. In fact, if we need to, we'll just go ahead and take out this conveyor belt so we can drop that in. And let's see, smart splitter, there we go. Make sure that's right there. I'm going to place it right here on this line, making sure everything's lined up right. There we go. 
We'll run the belt from here coming out into this smart splitter. We'll run that over to here. Now what I want to do is I want to set this smart splitter out to be left output is going to be plastic right there. So there we go. And then the center output will be overflow and none to the right. Now what I'm going to do is I take a conveyor lift. We're going to attach it to this side of our smart splitter that we have set up for output for plastic. Connect it, bring it down one. And then down here to this floor, we're going to have it facing this direction back this way, like so. I know I didn't put a floor hole in, but it's fine. This is only a temporary fix for the moment. And I'll tell you why in just a moment. We're going to bring this up to, let's see, right about there. That will work. We're going to come over here to this one where our input, where our plastic is coming up. Remove that. Add a merger here, right in front of that conveyor lift like that. Make sure we connect those two up. Connect our plastic line coming in back here to this merger. And then connect this to that belt over there we brought down. All right, so the reason we did this is because if we didn't, all of the excess plastic that we've been saving up is just going to come down here. It's going to go up the lines. It's going to go in. It's going to be taken by everything that needs it. But because we have so much, all of that excess that the manufacturers up top don't use, our circuit board makers don't use, all of that is going to get run all the way back down the line. It's going to come all the way down through here and it's going to get sent down to our main factory where it would just be put into the sink because we don't have a plastic storage container down there. What we just did was make a cutoff. So the smart splitter is going to take all of that plastic back off. It's going to put it back into the line and just loop it around and around and around, making sure that we don't waste any of that like precious plastic that we need right now. All right, so now everything is just about ready to go. However, we do need to make sure that we have power cables ran to every single one of the machines. The three manufacturers on top, all of the assemblers and constructors and smelters on the first floor, all of that has to be like cables ran to it. So again, we're running short on time, so I'm not going to show you exactly how to do that. You can run the cables however you want. I will show you just real quick how I did mine. So what I have is a circuit for this entire building that kind of ran through here. I started with a circuit breaker right here, which I'll have the power coming into that. And then everything from that point is ran up this way through some pillars. As you can see, I ran some beams across the top, connected all my machines to those beams with the cable. I have that cable running down from the top floor with the manufacturers down to our first floor this way where it then again runs across through here and then all the way over to the other side as well so it comes down through the first floor over here and then that way that way i try to hide my cables the best i can again how you do this is completely up to you as long as you do power to it but i do recommend doing it all in a closed circuit so if you guys are interested in actually seeing how I run the cables and everything and you want to see a video just on that, I will certainly do that if that's something you guys want to see. However, I do feel like that's pretty much unneeded at this point after 40 episodes. I think you guys know what you're doing. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and run our belts over here to run them into the factory for our plastic and our rubber right here. There it goes up into the factory, ready to be made into everything we need, and we can finally get those computers going. And now we can finally hit this switch and start making computers. Power on. Not gonna lie, I was kind of worried about flipping that switch. Thought for sure we would not have enough power to run this. Looks like we do. It is dipping into our stored power and our batteries right now though. But hopefully we should have enough to last until the next video when I actually go over and we start making more plastic. Which will again start making us some more power through that as well. Now we just got to wait for production to ramp up on all of our machines here. All right, so it's been about 30 to 45 minutes or so. I've been watching some YouTube videos. I've uh, just kind of been waiting for everything to ramp up. And it looks like right now, all three of my manufacturers up here are running at 100%. For the most part, there wasn't any problems with anything running. I just had to wait a little bit just so everything could kind of, you know, start spreading out about all of the machines and everything and kind of get everything going. There was one small issue I had where I misplaced a conveyor lift and it just wasn't lining up right where it was supposed to. So therefore, none of the output of one of my circuit boards was going out. So that was slowing things down a little bit, but I fixed that. So I do recommend if you're seeing any kind of weird issues to go back and take a look at your line, see if you can track down 
you may just have something like placed wrong or not connected. Power wise, our batteries are down to around 84% after the about 45 minutes or so so it is draining our batteries slowly but that's not a bad thing i did kind of expect this to happen uh it's good that it's draining them slowly though and not as fast as what i actually expected so this should give us enough time to get another video out where we can actually fix the power issue lastly let's go ahead and check and see how many computers we've already got in storage down here looks like we have about 211 computers that's oh 212 now that's not too shabby uh considering we're making about six per minute we don't have any circuit boards up here though and that's kind of a good thing because that means that all of our circuit boards are being that are being made are actually going into the machines for, to make our computers so honestly it would be nice to maybe kind of ramp that up a little bit just as if we can that way we can get a few in stock we may need those circuit boards for something in the future all right so all in all i'm pretty happy with how this build came out everything's running exactly as i intended it to thanks to some rigorous testing which is what took so long to get all of these videos done and get the computers going uh it ended up being multiple episodes just to get to this point but by golly we did it I do wish this video was just a little bit shorter, but there was a lot of things we still had to finish up. A lot of complicated like uh, conveyor belts and things to get ran, but we got it all and hopefully you guys were able to follow along with that too. Now for the next video, I plan on going back and redoing some things that we weren't able to get done this episode, including getting more plastic being made, getting our power output a little more so we're not running those batteries dead. And then finally getting the Mark IV belts as well as fuel generators unlocked. Those Mark IV belts are going to make everything in the entire factory run so much smoother. Before we wrap up, I want to say thank you to all of my incredible subscribers, both old and new. Your support keeps this channel going and I'm truly grateful for each and every single one of you guys. Remember, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, join this amazing community. I also want to give a special shout out to my amazing Patreons. Your extra support means the world to me and helps me continue creating content. For those who want to take that extra step and become a patron, the link is down below in the video's description. It truly helps fuel the channel's growth, and I try to include little extra benefits like the save file downloads for all of the episodes of How to Satisfactory. Thank you all for being a part of this journey. Your comments, likes, and shares motivate me to keep exploring and sharing the world of Satisfactory with you, as well as motivates the YouTube algorithm to push my content out to even more Satisfactory fans out there. Until next time, keep building, keep exploring, and wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.